everyone, welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Lloyd, and right now I am checking out this beautiful 1973 Chrysler New Yorker. This was the top of the line, full size Chrysler, you know, full body on frame. Uh, this, these were basically, like I said, top of the line. You didn't get any better than this, but uh, um, anyways, let's uh, go for a tour of this one. This one's actually in really nice shape. Like, well, the Chrysler Windsor beside it is pretty good shape. This one shows even nicer. So, um, anyways, let's go take a look at this beautiful ride. So, here, you know, it's got like, you know, you either love it or you hate the brown, but the brown is of the time period. It shows nice, it works, it's good. Um, so, you have this nice brown with the white vinyl top, and even like the, the vinyl, like, look at that. It is, you know, it could be detailed but it is pretty much immaculate, to be honest. You know, it shows incredibly well. This paint shows really well. Like, there isn't really rust in it at all. It's just such a beautiful car. And, you know, like, I love this rear end treatment of, look at these tail lights and just this bumper and just, ugh, it is so beautiful. And this car, yeah, it's probably close to about 20 feet long, give or take. Um, it's just a beauty of a car. I love the wheels and tires that it has on it. Like these nice, uh, you know, steelies with the uh, beauty rings and everything. It's all like just, again, immaculate. Um, something else that's really cool because this was a thing of Chrysler through the, uh, late sixties, early seventies, actually into the late seventies is you can know if your signal light's working because this will flash right here too. It'll also flash inside. We had that as well, which is a really cool little thing. Um, and I just, I love, like, check out this grill and everything. You know, it just presents incredibly well. You see the uh, nice little hood ornament here, and they all, like, have, they're on a little bit of a thing here. Um, you know, they all have wire underneath them. It's supposed to make it harder to steal, but people still stole them all the time. But check out this beautiful interior. Just... Oh, that's the, <laughs> check out just, okay, sorry. <laughs> that threw me off because I heard that kind of sound. I'm like, what is that? Oh, that's the original uh, buzzer. But just listen to how that opens and closes like that. You know, just, just on the money, right? And let me just take the key out of the ignition really quick here. Um, like this one, you can see all the power options and just check out the interior. But I gotta get that thing out of here. <laughs> that was just really annoying. But uh, yeah, it just has this nice, this might even be leather, to be honest. This awesome white interior. I love some of the wood accents inside. Like you can see here, you know, nice wood accent. Although it's, it wouldn't be real wood, but that's okay. Uh, you know, and like these bucket seats are just wonderful. To be honest, I thought this would have had a bench, but no, it's actually a, or maybe it is a split bench technically, but they look like buckets. Regardless. Just beautiful, beautiful car. I know somebody that would love, love, love this thing. Um, let's, uh, here, I'll take you off the tripod and we can take a look better inside. So we take a look and like you can see just how nice it is, right? The seats, take a look at this dash and just look at how beautiful the cluster is and just with everything here, um, you know? I just, I love it. And that's an AM FM. That is extremely, extremely rare option, to be honest. You know, it does have a uh, nice, uh, um, this is a equalizer, which is cool. And you got your vents and everything. And yeah, just such a beautiful car. And this is a New Yorker Brougham. So, you know, just the Brougham package basically is like with the vinyl top and um i think brougham just meant vinyl top to be honest but yeah check out the headliner like that's original material headliner it's got one little nick back there but other than that and one little bit right here but really it just presents amazingly and like i said this was the top of the line for chrysler you know there was one that i'm not even sure was above this maybe it was 
that was the uh, the Chrysler 300, but that was their kind of more muscly sort of uh, car. But anyways, let's go take a look under the hood of this beautiful old motor. So yeah, under the hood, actually, you have what these all have. Oh, come on. Oh, that's heavy. Very heavy. Oh. You know, that's the one thing about these old cars. They're big, they're awesome, but man, is everything just heavy. It's old, thick metal, right? But you take a look and you see the nice old 440, right? Oh, just a wonderful looking uh, engine, to be honest. And, you know, like he does have like headers and stuff like that for this one. Uh, happens to have an aluminum rod, which I like the expansion tank. That's cool. Um, and it's got an electric fan conversion as well. And, uh, you know, it still has the AC. It does blow cold, although it doesn't need to recharge, but it's still an R12. So you might want to convert it. You might not, but overall, you know, it's just really cool. But, uh, you know, because I love these old luxury cars. Just these nice full-size body on frame. You know, like, what is there not to love? Um, let's take a look in the trunk. And actually, I believe... The, uh, the trunk release is going to be under this, or no, maybe not. Um, oh, there we go. It is. <laughs> yeah, is put it in there. Good. Come on. Okay, I'm having trouble with the, uh, the lock cylinder is a little loose in there. There we go. Did not want to, uh, you know, hurt anything. But if you take a look in here, like you see some of the original rad stuff, you still see the uh, the bumper jack, which those things are just killers, to be honest. There, I wouldn't suggest ever running those, but uh, yeah, you could, I suppose, but I wouldn't, because um, basically those would hook onto the bumper. There, there'd be a little slot in the bumper somewhere, right here. See, you hook it up right there. There should be one on the other side, I would think. Yep, right here. And then there would be two on the front as well. And basically, you jacked it up, but it wasn't stable at all. So a lot of times it would fall over, crush people, stuff like that. That's why they got rid of those. But uh, big ass trunk. And if you take a look, like look at that underneath. Just very nice. Very nice. And uh, yeah, let's uh, start this one up. Because, oh, come on. Ah, that trunk's not closing, so sometimes with these old cars, they fiddle with you, but uh, I'll get uh, Corey to get that when he's back here. But anyways, let's, uh, let's hear this puppy run. Just like that, you know, just instant start and you know like these vehicles are very well maintained because of that like i said i just had a problem with the trunk there but uh like i said i'll get cory to um fix that in a bit you know like the horn come on oh i don't know ah horn's fighting me but that's okay can't get it to work here but like and honestly the power steering one finger power steering It's just, oh, so, so wonderful. I love this car. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go take a look under the hood and show you this beauty under the hood. So, as you can see, you got, you know, the nice 440 and just look at how nice it's running. Just money, right? And it's beautiful. Like, I love a good, smooth, big block, you know? Um, to be honest, like this one, supposedly it drives really nice and like what's really nice to see, still has all of the uh, original stickers on it, which is so cool. And like I said, it still has the AC and everything, which some people would uh, tear those out, but uh, you know, which I don't get, to be honest. People that tear out AC, I don't understand it at all. But just listen to how this thing sounds. You know, you just listen to it. Just again, 
like I said, no, no lopy cams or anything. Just, yeah, I don't know why that's not closing. Something to do with the latch. Figure it out. I might need a key in it that way, but. Honestly, just a beautiful, beautiful old Chrysler New Yorker. And uh, yeah, it's kind of unusual actually to see these as the coupes. A lot of them were sedans, but uh, yeah, overall, just a beautiful old luxury car. And yeah, with the power windows and stuff, like it should. Yeah, that's the window going up and down there. Oh. The, uh... Okay, well, the window got a little stuck and regular is having a little issues, but, you know, really, it's just a nice car, presents extremely well, and, uh, yeah, just a big fan of this thing. shut it off and close the hood and then yeah we'll call this about the end of the video and like and these like i said this was chrysler's uh i believe flagship vehicle um back then it was their most expensive and you know but it shows in the interior right like it's just it's got all the luxuries in it that you'd ever want and really it's just absolutely gorgeous but well, we'll wrap it up for this video. And you know, if you did like the video, please like, uh, like the video, comment anything you see down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And like I said, if you are interested in this car, because it is for sale, uh, contact details will be down below. So um, like I said, I'm not the one selling it. It's a friend of mine. So anyways, yeah, I hope you're staying safe during COVID-19. Good luck with what we're working on. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.